Whenever I travel, I like to discover beautiful and delicious places. There's so many, and I'm always trying to trust the local guide. Since I moved to Madrid, I'm slowly discovering areas, and I already shortlisted the few places in Madrid where I'm always willing to come back. So in this video, I invite you to join me and see these beautiful places together. Let's go! Today is a special day because it's a bank holiday here in Madrid and I'm going to bakery hunting so the bakery that I'm going to now is just about to open so hopefully I will get like a big variety of beautiful pastries. Yeah, just passing every retiro. It just, it just melts my heart. So many perritos in this park. <laughs> Stretching their legs. I smell the bakery <laughs> from far. So going where the smell is leading to. I thought it would be the smart one coming early, but look at this queue. Even the smaller customers patiently waiting for their turn. The title of the best artisan butter croissant went to Antonio Garcia Rodriguez from the Panem Bakery. Plus this bakery won the best bread award in 2019. Regardless of the award, every week they do something special. I love their cute pastries with many many different options of flavors. If you go to their Instagram, you will see what I mean. Just advise you not to watch their creations on empty stomach. It was a bit out of hand. I bought 20 million of pastries and uh, I think it's gonna be totally worth it. I wish you could feel that with the camera. It smells absolutely beautiful. Finally, let's see how the award winner pastries look inside. After tasting them, it's pretty clear why people queue up for them very early in the morning. And now we're gonna check uh, one of the famous market in Salamanca. In this market, you can not only do your grocery shopping, buy a good bottle of wine, but also stop for tapas, lunch, or glass of beer. Under the same roof, I discovered 130 Grados Bakery. They have two shops in Madrid. One is a small retailer here in this mercado, but they have the main operadora, how they say, where they produce everything and deliver. Even though the company produces a huge variety of pastries and bread, they started as a coffee roaster and they still do it. They have a massive roasting machine inside the bakery where they roast, grind and pack their coffee. Cafecito time! So you will not only be able to buy a cup of coffee of these freshly beans, but also buy and take home. Have a look at the winner bread. It's called Campania. When I tried your bread, it was clear why they won the award. The bread was light, soft inside, with an open crumb. I could say they are strong in all aspects of their production – bread, pastry and coffee. So very quickly, since we are in the same market, it would be a shame to miss the best, in my opinion, tortilla I tried so far in Madrid – Casa Dani. How can I skip the best coffee in town? Honest greens! My personal favorite so far, the best coffee and fast, green, clean eating choice, Honest Greens. They don't call themselves vegan or plant-based, even though they have plenty of these options, but also serve healthy meat and fish. Plus, look at this deco. I honestly thought many times that I want to copy decoration ideas to my home. Their goal is to serve food prepared using the freshest ingredients, the food that's good for you. I've been there already countless times and I've never been disappointed. Always busy, so it means they have something good about the place. I also love their falafel platter. Interesting fact is that they change hummus flavors every week. I already tried turmeric, beetroots, spinach and classic one. I couldn't believe my own eyes when I saw the size of hummus. Look at this. 
When you order your food, you can buy an initial glass of drink and then refill as many times as you want, including still sparkling water. They also do a sweet corner, where cauliflower mocha brownie, macadamia miso cheesecake and energy balls are the top quality. But let's finally get the coffee! Welcome again! <laughs> ah, so nice to meet you! Me too! Aki? Oh, thank you very much! See you soon on the screens. As of now, let's head to the very central area. This place is just behind Opera. And when you turn, this is another beautiful, beautiful place. And it gives me the feeling that Madrid is such a historically beautiful city. It's just every corner you discover something beautiful. It just gives a really, really nice vibe here. If you find yourself in this area, you should definitely visit this place. I like to come here for my breaks as I take Spanish lessons around the corner. So it's always nice to have a quick bite and then come back quickly. There are a few strong positive points about this bakery. First, and by far the most important for me, is a big choice of products. They change pastries every week, so it not only gives a chance to chefs to be creative, but also keeps customers curious to try these beautiful desserts. Secondly, there is so much space, so you will feel very comfortable. One last thing that cannot be a notice here is the historical ruins, as it's exposed to people so everyone can see the remains of the ancient Madrid wall. These ruins have sat here since around 12th century. What a pleasure was to meet Jose, the owner and the head baker of, the, of this bakery. He told a little story about the place. He's been training in multiple places in the world, in the United States and France, and he is a trained Golden Blue chef. So experience is there, the flavor is there, the dedication is there. Super, super talented person. So I'm so happy that he's doing what he does, teaching people, running his business. If you're around in this area, like please definitely pay the visit here. There are two Hansa cafes in Madrid, one here in Opera area and another one in Melanzania. Just walk like 2-3 minutes and visit this cafe. They pay extra attention to the coffee making ritual. They have various coffee beans. They make each coffee with attention and time, and that reflects the flavor and presentation. I managed to meet one of the owners. Gracias. When asked why they don't offer consistent flavor of the beans, he told that the idea is to give people a chance to try the different taste of beans. For that reason, you may taste Brazilian coffee from January to March and the end of the year may be Italian. I love the fact that they don't choose the easiest way and keep customers discovering something new too. Han is the surname and so is kind of the little house where people, family and friends get together and spend time. He even shown the Chinese character which even looked like a little house. Isn't it cute? The business owners wanted to keep the tradition putting Asian flavors on their menu. So here you'll find Japanese meal bread or other flavors as matcha, interestingly combined in cakes. So this is a busy, minimalistic place where people come to study or have a break from work. Feels like a warm meeting place. Since I ate all this massive sandwich by myself, I'm taking a cake home. And guess what? I will enjoy it with my favorite drink ever, mate. We discovered this place while searching for a flat here in Madrid. It took me by surprise as I didn't expect it to be so good. One of the best ice creams I have ever tried. They have their line of flavors, but what I also loved about La Romania is that they do seasonal ice cream flavors too. They also put chocolate in the cone. What do you think? It's a big portion? It's a small portion? It's a medium? Or you think ice cream is never too much? I'm not that massive big fan of ice cream, but this one, I tried like a five different ones and I was like, how can they be all consistently good? So I went for caramel because I'm loyal to my caramel flavor and I wanted something fresh, which I went for mango. It's super, super nice, this place. I would be very surprised if you don't find your favorite ice cream here. That's all I wanted to share with you today. Happy food discoveries here in Madrid. Thank you for watching and see you next week. So in this video... Oh, oh. 
So I like to travel. Oh no, someone decided to have a chat. Todo bien? Todo bien? Sí, sí, hago un vlog. Vale. Quiero avoid interesting glances. I'm literally filming now, putting my camera on someone's car. <laughs> Sorry. So bright, like how can sky be so blue all the time? I guess one of the secrets why Spanish people are so happy, I think the weather is the answer. Lele. 